Salawam who praises the hour of our Shemir Shab, our Shemir of God for Dush. Double honors unto the apostle, elder apostles of great millstone who rule well, the Shalom to the whole full elect. This is a biblical commentary on the book of First Peter, or chapter of First Peter 101. And it reads, Peter, an apostle of Yahusha and Mashiach, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Parthenia. All of these regions that were mentioned are in um, Asia Minor which is modern day Turkey, or aside from Asia, I'd have to look, it's worth looking it up uh, to find out where that is, where that is, so, so reading on this says, elect according to the foreknowledge of the Most High, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, all right, so the elect are, they're preordained, all right, and this is done by the spirit you know by the heavenly father from the beginning all right and they're sanctified by the spirit all right the holy spirit the Kodash, all right the spirit holy is what sanctifies them to make them of the elect so that spirit is only going to rest upon the elect men unto obedience and sprinkling of blood of yahusha mashiach yeah so that spirit makes us obedient to, you know, the things that pertain to the law and the sprinkling of the blood of Yahweh his sacrifice is, you know, what also makes us of the elect. Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the power and father of our Lord Yahweh and Mashiach, which according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again unto a lively hope. By the resurrection of Yahweh Shah Mashiach from the dead. Alright, we, we have a lively hope. Alright, there is hope. Hope is in abundance in this world. There's people that hope they'll be rich one day. They hope they'll meet, you know, a man that loves them. Or they hope they'll meet a woman that loves them and doesn't want to, you know, be a gold digger and just, you know, swindle them out of their possessions. Or even love them as they are, you know, on the lowly level. Or they hope they'll be rich one day, whatever it may be. But our hope is a lively hope, all right, which means it's alive, it's something that is, is going to come to pass, right, as opposed to their hopes being hit or, hit or miss. And even if it if it does come to pass, it's of the world, it's going to die eventually, all right, it has, it has an expi expiration date, an expiry date. So it says, um, by the resurrection of our of Yahweh Shai Mashiach from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that fadeth not away reserved in heaven for you. See, this is saying that that lively hope is something that's living. It's never going to die. All right. It's going to live forever. It's um, uncorruptible. You are kept by the power of the Most High from faith unto salvation. And, and that's really where it is. It's, this is all of the will of the heavenly father just <laughs> because you're of the elect he, he his foreknowledge from before is what is going to allow you to uh, um, obtain and maintain a faith ready to be revealed in the last time wherein ye greatly rejoice though now for a, re a season if need be ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations all right, so let me read that again. Where are you greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaven us through manifold temptations. All right. Um, that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried. Uh, with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right. So basically, this is uh, your trial of faith is 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 more precious than um, gold, right? But it's likened unto gold in that it is um, tried by fire. We go through the furnace of affliction, right? That's what determines whether we are you know sanctified or not. Alright, so it says, 
um, verse 8, whom having not seen you love, in whom though now you see him not, yet believe him, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. All right, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. Um, of which salvation the prophets have inquired and searched diligently, who prophesied with grace that should come unto you. Right, this is something that has been, you know, looked looked for, for since the beginning of time. All right, since the fall of Adam, we've been looking for the 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 living spirit. Right, of Yahweh Shai to come and bring about salvation. Right, and the prophets have spoke to it on you know countless of time, countless times, searching what or what manner of times the spirit of Hamashiach, which was in them, did signify when it testified for shit, when it testified beforehand. Oh, that's cool. So lucky, man. <laughs> man, I made a tea and I left it on the side. I've done it so many times. I'll make a tea. You let it cool down, and then next thing you know, you forgot the tea even was around, and you just wasted. You know, it's expensive tea as well. You wasted a tea bag. It's lucky. Um, excuse me. So it says, searching what. Or what manner of time the spirit of Hamashiach, which was in them, did signify, when it testified beforehand the sufferings of Hamashiach and the glory that should follow, right? Unto whom it was revealed that not on that not unto themselves, but unto us that did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them. That have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Spirit sent down from heaven, which things the angels desire to look into. Wherefore gird up thy loins, the loins, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and and hope to the end of uh, for grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shemashiach as obedient children. Not fashioning yourselves according to the former loss in, in your ignorance, right? So you have to become a new person, a new individual. You have to grow in the spirit. But as he which have called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. All right? And if you call on the Father... Who, without respect to persons, judges according to every man's work, past the time of your sojourning here in fear. For as much as ye know that ye are were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by tradition of your fathers, but with precious blood of Hamashiach, as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. Who verily was before orda foreordained uh, before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, who by him do believe um, in the Most High that raised him from the dead and gave him glory, that your faith and hope might be in the Most High, seeing that ye purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the of the brethren see that you love one another with a pure heart fervently being born again not of corruptible seed but of incorruptible by the word of the most high which liveth and abideth forever right you have to be born again for all flesh is as grass and all the glory of man is as the flower as the flower of grass here today gone tomorrow the grass withereth and the flower thereof falleth away. Right, we have to look to more spiritual things and hold on to the things that are of the Spirit. Alright, that being the Holy Spirit, 
all right? Not looking onto gold, silver, and things of the world. For all flesh is as grass, and all glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth, say, verse 25, but the word of the Lord endureth forever, and this is the word which by the, the, the gospel was preached unto you. So with that, I pray you edify the next one station of what?